Justin Belshaw here with Radio Bravery, bringing you a special report in light of the new developments that have just happened in New York in the past 24 hours. Two cops have been killed, and this is a sign of the ongoing persisting violence that has now become a color war, as Larry Pinckney, one of the original founding members of the Black Panthers, said just the other day in an interview on the Alex Jones Show. Larry Pinckney described the fact that this is not a race war, as they want to keep telling us we're different races and we're so divided and so different. No, we are all one race. We are the human race, and we are all in this color war together as divide and conquer sets in across this country. We cannot be manipulated by the media propaganda that clearly has been pushing more violence towards different colors and violence from one color to another. We must remember that we are all a part of the human race. Habeas corpus, the Magna Carta, the First Amendment, these stand for all of us, and we all have the Second Amendment there to protect those original rights, the inalienable ones that we are born with, that our Creator has given us, that are indistinguishable, indefinable, and inalienable. You cannot take them away. They are there from the moment you're born, and we all have them, especially as American citizens. We are all human Americans. We are not of any color, and we need to not be divided and conquered any longer. Violence is not the answer. As you just found out here recently, the Islamic State has um, come out praising the killing of the two New York City police officers, which is absolutely atro atrocious. And it, it just goes to show that the real terrorists are all about dividing us and creating more physical violence between us. So let's not be divided any longer. We must unite with simple thoughts like this, which is in the Citizens Rule Book given out uh, from every InfoWars purchase at InfoWarsShop.com. Um, and this is a little section in there called Inalienable or Unalienable or Natural Rights. Natural rights are those rights such as life from conception, liberty and the pursuit of happiness, example given freedom of religion, speech, learning, travel, self-defense, etc. Hence, laws and statutes which violate natural rights, though they have the color of law, are not law but imposters. The U.S. Constitution was written to protect these natural rights from being tampered with by legislators. Further, our forefathers also wisely knew that the U.S. Constitution would be utterly worthless to restrain government legislators unless it was clearly understood that the people had the right to compel the government to keep within the constitutional limit. In a jury trial, the real judges are the jurors. Surprisingly, judges are actually just referees bound by the Constitution, just as police officers are our servants and we, the people, are their masters, as we pay their paychecks just like employers. When our employees step out of line, we must take them from their position and fire them because they are given their power and responsibility from us, the people. <clears throat> uh, Lysanda Spooner wrote as follows. Government is established for the protection of the weak against the strong. This is the principle, if not the sole motive, for the establishment of all legitimate government. It is only the weaker party that lose their liberties when a government becomes oppressive. The stronger party in all governments are free by virtue of their superior strength. They never oppress themselves. Legislation is the work of this stronger party, and if in addition to the sole power of legislation, they have the sole power of determining what 
hands the weaker party are the subjects of an absolute government. Unless the weaker party have a veto, they have no power whatever in the government and no liberties. The trial by jury is the only institution that gives the weaker party, it is the only institution that gives them any effective voice in the government or any guarantee against oppression. Um, this is just yet another reminder that we have all already been created equal and we need to, as a whole, as a people, step off of our mental plantation, our prison planet, and free ourselves and our minds to wake up against the invisible shackles and jail cells that have been slowly placed all around us. These include the income tax, um, property taxes, divide and conquer, the trendy CNN shows, Fox shows, all these different things that are used to manipulate our minds and divide us against each other. 1776 is the answer to 1984. And you are the resistance, and the best thing we can do is to remember that Martin Luther King said that the best way is nonviolence, because violence always ends in oppression. And we are not going in the right direction right now with the violence against police. We need to remember that they are human beings just as well as you and I. And the best way is to convince them that we are all on the same team. This is Justin Belshaw with Radio Bravery.